Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. I'm going to show you punching combinations, strictly hand combinations that you should know from mixed martial arts, also kickboxing and self-defense as well. Check out MMAforselfdefense.com, my website. We're going to go over different combinations, maybe from a couple different angles, and I'll show you everything that you should learn in a repertoire. To start with is two punches. You start with a double jab. Okay, double jab. That camera, double jab. Okay, then of course one, two. And you can do one, two peek, see what's going on. Maybe left hook, right straight after that. Okay, next would be uh, a uh, double jab right hand. Okay, one, one, two. One, one, two. And then at different rhythms, one, one, two. So you should start busting the guy up with the double jab. Bust the guy up with the double jab. And then one, one, two is a good way of starting the round, by the way. Establish everything right away. And, you know, like GSP messing up Koshek or Sarah Kaufman's really good at the one, one, two as well. You do it at different rhythms. One, one, two. You know, double jab, and then one, one, two. Okay, from there, another two, three, two, two, three, two combination. You ready to get the softball? Two, three, two combination. Uh, another great combination, four, three, two. I like this in the over under wrestling clinch. Give a shoulder bump, four being the uppercut to simplify things. Four, three, two. Okay, from long range, if a guy's got a shell, kind of Muay Thai guard like Alistair Overeem. Okay, and then you would jab up towards his right hand to check it, keep it in place. Jab, four, three, two. So there's another good combination. For MMA purposes, you also do Russian long hooks and overhand punches. Igor Valchanchin and Pride would throw a long, fake, front uppercut, overhand right. I like this, it catches guys off, moving in and out of range. Okay, from there, also great for self-defense, if you end up in an engaged fight, our guy starting uh, a fight with you from long distance, is one, two, Russian long hook overhand. So one, two, a boom, Russian long hook at a downward angle, overhand. One, two. Okay, so a lot of good punching combinations. Uh, something to realize, you can always add a jab in the beginning of a lot of combinations, and always add a round kick or a knee at the end of a combination. All right, we'll go into that later on in details. So just doing the main hand combinations you should know for MMA. If you get a guy with that one, one, two, now he's starting to cover up. or protecting his cheek. Then I go one, one, two to the body, three, two. One, one, two, three, two, different variations. One, one, two, three, two. The most common way you use it in MMA. You could also go one, one, two, three, two, all head hunting. Or you could go one, one, two, then liver shot, two. One, one, two, three to the body, to the liver. One, one, two, liver shot, two. It's also good for MMA. Or back pivot, right kick, there's a lot of stuff you can do. These are your main combinations you want to know for MMA from the traditional stance. Okay, from softball, there's different things. You can get uppercuts and stuff, slipping the jab, uh, straight blast, boxing blast that I like to do. So there's some more advanced stuff, softball against traditional. Those are all the main things you should have in your repertoire as a traditional fighter if you're training in MMA. I'm Dan the Wolfman, hope you enjoyed it, and maybe later on, I'll show you guys all those combinations on the mitts. Thank you.